Today we have some breaking news in the Chicano community uh, as far as uh, Chicano rap. Uh, we have Jay Rocks, which is a new artist with a hit single, the one that I love the most. Uh, uh, Princesa is jamming. You guys go look it up on YouTube. But today she took to social media talking about um, someone um, basically sexually harassing her. Uh, if you guys don't know about her, she's the one who uh, travels with... MC Magic pretty much across the country, and I believe she is signed with uh, Nasty Boy Records at the moment. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so she was uh, rocking a show, and out of nowhere she says that some guy was looking at her the whole time, and when she, uh, when one of her buddies left her by herself, uh, there was somebody backstage that pretty much like bent down, act like he fell, and then he uh, rubbed on her leg. Uh, we're gonna get some footage right here. Check it out. Guys, I just want to explain something that literally just happened to me, and I'm so extremely disappointed. And so, as you guys know, that I always wear like baggy clothes. I was dressed kind of like a boy, you know, and I never really get dressed up a lot, um, especially recently. And I have reasons for that because a lot of times in the past, men that have come to my shows, they will grope me, like my body and whatever. And so they, I don't like to wear revealing clothing for that purpose, which is why I started to dress like a guy a lot recently. And um, it makes me feel a lot more comfortable with my surroundings and just everything. And, and guys don't look at me in any type of weird way, right? And so for today's show, I decided to wear something more girly, like it's a skirt, as you guys can see, and I have some tights under. And I was feeling very confident, very happy when I got to the show. And I was um, sitting backstage waiting to perform. And I was sitting with um, one of my friends and he had to leave to go do something. And as soon as he left, this, I don't know if he was a security guard or like, I don't know what he was, he was a worker here. He was staring at me the whole time. Um, like just looking me up and down, kept staring at my legs, everything. And as soon as my friend got up to go leave, he got up and he walked by me mind you i'm sitting in a space where there's like hardly any space to walk which i don't know why he went that way when he could easily run around and when he as soon as he passed by me he pretended to fall and he like touched my thigh and then he looked me in my face and he goes oh my bad and then he walked away but the whole time he was walking away he kept looking at me like he kept looking at me and he was looking at me the whole time um like after the show before the show and literally right after he did that i had to perform and i was trying so hard not to cry i was trying so hard because um usually my team is always with me but they were busy today and so obviously it's not their fault or anything it's 100 percent the guy's fault and i just felt so uncomfortable and so disgusted and so unsafe and i literally had to perform right after he did that and i wanted to cry so bad like I'm gonna show you guys a clip. This is literally me after he freaking did that to me. And I have a video of him too because I don't care. I think he should be embarrassed. I think that um, nobody deserves to be touched inappropriately ever, no matter if they're wearing, no matter what they're wearing, like just don't be disgusting, goddamn. because he kept moving around on stage and like doing some random stuff so i couldn't get a clear picture but that was him right there super disgusting um and if he has granddaughters you know daughters anything that makes it even more disgusting because he would never want something like that to happen to anyone that he loves anyways i just wanted to say be careful guys and always speak up when something like this happens it's so fucking disappointing it's gross